I get it. Everyone's on edge because elimination is getting closer and closer and closer. But the cap, the cap in the circle was easy. What I got to hate on? What I'm hating on? Who would I ever hate on? Who, what, where, when, why? <laughs> Gang, it's your girl Sammy Lexus, and we're back with another video. Before we get into this video, I need you to like, comment, share, and subscribe to your girl's channel because we on the road to 4K, baby. Okay, let me take these glasses off. They're probably like, why this girl got these glasses on? Um, all right, so today's video is going to be. A reaction of episode what episodes these should be hold on <clears throat> okay so today is gonna be a reaction on episode 5 of the boot camp in the comments I want you to let me know how you feel about anything I've said anything you've seen um if you watch anybody else's reaction let me know in the comments how you feel um so hi if you didn't know my name is Samantha, aka Sammy Alexis, aka New York. And um my role in the show wasn't to be messy. My role in the show is not to be a hater. My role in the show isn't to come off as jealous. My role in the show was simply not to down try to downplay anybody. To make me look good because that's not my vibe. Once you know you're it, you never really got to like do a lot for people to like, you know, mess with you. Anything I say from here on out is solely on how I feel. It's not, yes, I'm cool with the CBC girls. It's not to make any of them look bad. It's not to make me look good because honestly, it's probably some people that don't like me. I really don't care. It's some people that aren't team new york and i'm okay with that i'm totally okay with that i will be in the comments with you saying team braces team braids team um jj team so i will be in the comments with y'all saying team them it don't bother me but i'm just gonna speak on what i see and my truth and i just hope that um you guys kind of see where i'm coming from i got my points i got a lot I'm gonna try to condense it the first thing that i kind of want to touch on and talk about is the whole um people's rooms smelling like whatever it was yes that scene it got me upset a lot of people in the comments were saying that um they see by the look on my face that i wasn't having it i was not having it because in my head i was thinking to myself my mama don't even yell at me my friends don't yell at me. My grandmama don't yell at me. My daddy don't yell at me. So why is this lady yelling at me? I kind of feel like that scene, however, was kind of dragged. And I knew Kat was exaggerating about the smell of the house. Because I didn't smell nothing. I, I'm going to keep it up. I'm going to keep it a stack. I'm going to keep it a buck. I'm going to keep it a hundred. I'm going to keep it a hundred with y'all. The house did not smell like nothing to me. If anything, the house smelled like hot. You know how when you walk in a room and because a lot of people is in the room, their body heat... It makes the room kind of like hot like that's all that it really was it just felt hot to me it didn't feel like i wasn't smelling nothing really so when cat picked up the prop that was on jay's face and um when she smelled it when she smelled it and she was like because that was a prop from a box that jay that remember the last episode jay had the little tomatoes jj had it on her face how that's gonna stink unless you telling me JJ's face stink and I'm pretty sure JJ's face ain't stink so for you to be and the way she say the way she said that the room was smelling like she was like but dusty something she said I was like all right and y'all in the comments dragging it I said it did not smell that bad 
And for people to think that we actually smelled that way was crazy to me. If we're filming from 8 a.m. to 11 p.m. at night, when do you think I'm gonna have the time to worry about my suitcase? And if my clothes are folded properly, if my stuff is stacked in the corner, if my stuff is in the proper place, I don't care. I don't care about if the t-shirt's on the floor. I don't care about if there's one boot in the room, one boot outside the room. Like, I get it. You could pick up after yourself. But this is not what we're here. We weren't here to be the cleaning, the cleaning ladies. We weren't here to be the cleaning team. I get it. Pick up after yourself. That's cool copy. But once you got 10K on the line, and I'm going to emphasize that every chance I get. When it's 10K on the line, you're not worried about picking up. A shirt you're not worried about picking up something off the floor that's the least of your problems you had to win 10k it was all to build momentum i guess when we finally came out we were sitting on the couch and carmen was um talking to us she made a note that people was going back and forth to production i personally didn't know about anyone going back and forth to production one thing about me in this show i really tried my hardest to mind my business I really tried to be there solely for the purpose that I was there and that was to win. Yes, I made friends. Yes, I speak to a lot of these girls on a regular. But at the time, it was just like, I'm not here to be y'all besties. I'm here to win and be on a bigger platform, like a bigger, it's, it's a bigger picture than what y'all think it is. Well, to me it was. So, when Carmen was talking about some people's going back and forth to production and that's not the first time she said that i've actually heard people say like the production thing a couple of times in the house and every time they said it i was confused because i was like well we yeah we speak to production but not even on some like we being messy we speak to production because like if they say something to us like oh like stand there whatever like we had a little side chit chatter but i personally never said it to production um i'm not sure who was talking to production if y'all watch other people's um, reaction videos, let me know who, if anybody said they was talking to production, if they owned up to it. But me personally, I was never talking to production. I, If I said a couple words to them, okay, but it was never on some like trying to be messy. So I was solely confused about that part. I was like, what is she talking about? If people want to talk to production, chit chat, or that's their business. I didn't feel the need to. Um, they were cool. They were cool people, but... Um, there was nothing really for us to talk about so if it wasn't like hi bye what's up you know cracking jokes it wasn't really off nothing now that we got the beginning of the episode out of the way we're just gonna jump straight into the journal scene they kind of kind of they didn't show um the fact that we started writing in the journals in the pool room so what happened was when carmen had left come to find out Carmen didn't really leave. That was all just a part of their plan. When we started writing in the journals, we started writing in the pool room. So the pool room where we did episode two, it was, I believe. That's where we started writing. And everyone was spread out in the pool room. After Kat did all of that yelling, blacking, screaming, no one really wanted to be next to each other. No one wanted to hitch up on each other that kind of gave me the vibe like i didn't think that they were my enemies at that point but it was getting to be to the point where you gotta crack like it, it's, it's it's game time now all that play time is over that's all i all i really gave me like play time is over you think these girls are your friends they 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 could be cool with you cordial but they're not your friend you're not here for that you're not here to make friends you're here to make bands it wasn't really much words exchange between people so anyone that was saying um that anything was planned against one person that's not true because we were so shocked and shook that cat really went a thousand on us we were scared to even talk to anybody i didn't want to talk to nobody because anytime you wanted to open your mouth she would just yell and say just right just right just right so all you had to do was write and it was to a point where if you probably wasn't writing, you was going to get yelled at. So it was in your best interest to write. After that, they brought us outside where the chairs were, um, where the chairs were in a circle. As we were in the circle, it was kind of mind-boggling to me 
how a lot of the girls wanted to fake the funk. They wanted to act like they the cleanest family friendly channel. A lot of the girls wanted to act like they was the cleanest in the world. I don't get it. Now all of a sudden, y'all was was folding clothes. Y'all was washing dishes. Y'all was mopping floors. First of all, if you really like, I I know people in real life that no one has to tell them, oh, go pick that cup up. Go pick that paper up off the floor. I know people in my family that if they see something, a spot on the floor, they're cleaning it and they're not telling you that they cleaned it. They're not telling you that they cleaned it. So the fact that people was trying to make it seem like we was the dirtiest people in the world and they was the cleanest people in the world, it was kind of, it bothered me a bit. It did. Because at the same time, it's like, if you so clean, I'm not saying go and pick up after, just an example. I'm not saying, oh, JJ, go pick up after um braids or go pick up after braces. If JJ really liked that and really cleans, she would have picked up a mop. She would have picked up a freaking broom, anything on her own free will. And she would have started mopping and cleaning. And maybe production or Carmen or whoever would have praised her then. And they would have said in that moment, oh, you know who I noticed who was actually cleaning? I noticed that JJ was actually cleaning. You know what I'm saying? Something like that. But they didn't do that. So clearly no one in the house was cleaning. Everyone was focused on the bigger picture, which was winning. So I don't know why everybody was trying to act like, Oh, they the cleanest in the house. They this, that, and the third. Like, in my head, I was like, don't do that. Don't do that. The house looked the same damn way every damn day. Nothing changed. And the thing is, if anyone felt like the house or the area in which we stayed was so uncontrollably dirty, you yourself could have came to all of us and said, hey, guys, I think we should clean X, Y, and Z. I think we should um mop up the bathroom i think we should wash the dishes in the kitchen i think we should i didn't hear no one talking saying nothing about nothing no one ever brought up the idea of cleaning so the fact that in the circle people were trying to act like they did this they did that you picked up one damn cup okay oh god you want a cracker you want a damn brownie that's just that was the one thing that had me on hots that's the one thing that had me on hots but other than that moving on and the thing is it's like i get it everyone's on edge because elimination is getting closer and closer and closer but the cap the cap in the circle was easy the doodle in the toilet was fake at first we did not know it was fake um i think when i went in the bathroom the first time i had put my shirt like my nose in my shirt because that's just like a normal reaction. Like you see like doodle or something. You see something nasty. You don't want to smell nothing. You you want to stop yourself from smelling it before you really smell it. Now we reach the point in the circle where we're writing, we're writing, we're writing, we're still writing. I said we were writing from the pool room. When we were in the pool room, I kind of BSed the beginning of my, um, my journal for the simple fact that I didn't want to be messy. I didn't want to say something that would have potentially got me eliminated i assumed that they wasn't gonna read it i thought that carmen and cat was just gonna read it to themselves amongst themselves so when i was writing i still wasn't trying to write with malice at this point i was kind of like neutral in the beginning and cat read the first line of my book first and foremost to carmen and ned management i would like to say thank you wholeheartedly I just basically started out with I would like to thank Carmen and Neb and I started out with that sentence because at this point in time I was ready to go home like I, I was so ready to go home I because I'm the type of person I'm a very defensive person if you come for me if you start yelling at me if you think you got one up on me no you don't I'm gonna yell back I'm gonna expose you back I'm gonna clap back I wake up and I'm, I'm going to choose violence. I'm going to choose violence every single time. Don't come for me. I'm not one of them girls that's going to sit back and not say nothing. I'm sorry. Like, some people, y'all could put up the front that, oh, kumbaya, let's gather around the campfire, sing the campfire song, C-A-M-P-I-F-I-R-S, I was a song. Y'all could do that, but no, I'm going to choose violence. I already didn't want to start out 
on nothing crazy because like I just didn't want nothing coming back to me and it's crazy because product the production team they were actually walking around asking people who they thought planted the doodle on the seat whole time the doodle was fake they planted but I guess they just wanted to see who would go so far as to making up a lie or throwing somebody under the bus just to make themselves look good when they asked me and they came up to me I'm gonna tell you off rip I said listen I don't know nothing I didn't hear nothing I didn't see nothing I'm just here cuz I'm here I'm not worried about nobody else don't ask me that at the end of the day the camera is the production team the cameraman whoever they're only gonna show you what they want you to see what they want you to know so all the comments saying like oh y'all girls is bullies y'all girls is this y'all girls is that i'm not even trying to bring the color thing in here like but i talk about this with my family a lot like a lot a lot and i say this to say because y'all may not think i'm like light like i don't think i'm light. i think i'm like caramel but a lot of my family members, they're like darker than me. And I'm like kind of like the lightest one. So they kind of crack jokes with me all the time. Samantha thinks she this because she light skin. She thinks she this because she light skin. My, my family tells me this all the time. And I feel like had one of the darker skin girls was going through whatever um, a light skin girl was going through. Y'all wouldn't have been in the comments talking about some OB bullies. We just stand there. I wholeheartedly believe that y'all would be saying that. Um, oh, she deserves that. She was this, she was that, this, that, and the third. Like, I fully believe that y'all be saying that. So, for y'all to be talking about the, the whole bully word, the whole jealousy word, the whole hate word. Baby, let me tell you one thing about me. What I got to hate on. What I'm hating on. Who would I ever hate on? Who? What? Where? When? Why? 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 why dean's list above dean's list is my bachelor's degree in english and business look at my face look at body skin the bully comment save that for a different platform for different people save that for the birds because i'll tell you this right now we started writing in the pool room we did not talk to a soul i promise you from that karaoke scene we didn't really exchange words with one another until that night that night that's how intense that day was if anything i feel as though a lot of people should ask themselves well why do certain girls feel a certain way about so and so or and i'm speaking really i'm speaking general i'm not targeting one person i'm not bashing anybody i'm just saying like generally speaking what like it, it's, it's really the hater word it is not registering in my brain like, baby what am i hate on why do you see me child and I'm only get finer by the years and with more money. Okay? What I will say is that the only reason, the only reason, and I, I'm so, and I'm not going to lie, I'm going to put this on myself. I am ashamed of myself. I am, I was so ashamed of myself. And at that point, I was just like, I'm so over the mind games. I'm over the yelling. I've seen y'all cry about 20 times today. I'm over it. This episode, I could say I was fed up. I had enough. And it's just a whole lot of like crap being just thrown and like set in this circle. And I'm thinking in my head like, when did y'all like feel this way? Apart from what y'all seen on camera, a lot of the stuff that y'all seen on the camera was already addressed was already spoke on so for us to keep talking about it and talking about it and said it and for it to be said again it was kind of like frustrating to me like why do i keep hearing the same storyline from like people why do i keep 
like the, the attacks it, it's like it, it was just so overwhelming like why are we going through the same thing every single day and that's exactly why i try to stay very neutral and why i didn't want no problems with nobody like i'm this story is kind of like all over the place but that's how i kind of felt with that day this day was just all over the place and i'm sorry i'm gonna get back on topic for real at this point when cat was just like she gave me my journal back and she was like oh i don't want to read this or whatever she said oh i don't want to read this right now i guess she was looking for tea which she was and mind you a lot of the girls had written four to five to six to seven a lot of the girls wrote pages long full of stuff but you know what cat or production did they stopped it at a certain name to like i don't know if it was trying to prove a point for example 305 could have written 17 pages worth of stuff and you only gonna stop at that one after you hear that one name of who you think should go home that's when you stop talking like that's when you give her back her journal knowing she could have said jj could have gone could go home she could say new york could have went home it, it's a lot of stuff that was said in those books that wasn't really said out loud and they picked and choose and they butchered who and what they was finna say for the camera which i get i do get it i get it but if you're gonna read somebody's book read the whole book that was my thing it was to the point where i wasn't trying to single out anybody yet i was trying to think of a, any little thing to say about somebody so i could justify them going home i promise you when i got to jj when i got to braces when i got to freaking um jakari even i was stuck i was like damn what i'm finna say about these girls and why they should go home but when she read my journal she said tardy and braids and i think at the time those are the two names that had written down but i was planning on literally saying everyone's name because it made you know it makes sense like it's only supposed to be one winner so i wasn't really trying to target one person um i was more so just trying to um put everybody in the book like at this point i'm tired of y'all i'm sick of y'all i'm tired of the games i'm tired of the way y'all y'all think i'm tired of y'all the the immature behaviors like at this point send all of them home and just pick me so that's kind of what i was like getting towards but she kind of stopped when she heard the keyword or whatever she was looking for and she gave me back my book and then she went to the next person but i think a lot of the stuff that happened that day they were just looking for reactions and they got the reactions that they wanted but at the same time, a lot of people shouldn't have been, how should I put this? A lot of people shouldn't have been surprised, you know what I'm saying? Because it's stuff that we talked about, we spoke on. So the fact that so many people were surprised at a lot of things, I was just like, why y'all surprised on the camera? We spoke about this off the camera. What is the surprise for? So people in the comments that saying this and the third, y'all bullies, y'all this, y'all that. We spoke about all of this already in the crib. So I was confused as to why things were being. I understand why things were being brought back up in that moment. Because you want to know. Cat wants to know who you think should go home. And yes, it's fair to bring up those things. Because it is a competition. And if you say Melissa should go home. Melissa should go home because of X, Y, and Z reasons that was spoke on. But for Melissa to act like, oh, I didn't know that y'all felt like Melissa, you knew. Melissa, you knew. I'm going to keep it a stack. A lot of people, you cannot tell them their faults. A lot of people, you can't tell them something that you think that they should work on. You cannot give a lot of people constructive criticism. I really personally just don't want to dig too deep into any one person and mind you whole time I'm saying this story I'm thinking generally I'm not thinking one specific person because y'all swear somebody a hater I don't know I don't know who to hate it because it ain't me it, it's just a, it's just a lot to digest it, it was it's still today a lot to digest Another thing about me, um, 
like if we cool we cool we kosher we kosher and just because i give my opinion on you or say something that i noticed about you that don't mean i don't like you that don't mean i hate you and same thing with the comments with um with tardy though like i know a lot of people that probably speak to tardy outside of the boot camp i don't hate her i don't think a lot of the girls hate her so i mean that's dumb me i'm, I'm only speaking myself i don't hate i don't hate her i don't hate her so it's like a lot of a lot of the comments it is it is it's very i'm not trying to make it a comments thing but it, it is very uneasy to look at because as i said they're only going to show you what they want to show you they're not going to show you the whole full story of everything unless i specifically said someone's name in this video it was just me speaking very generally on um situations topics what i preed what i agreed with what i didn't agree with because at the end of the day i'm having an opinion no but another thing is if you feel like the shoe no 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 if you feel like the shoe fits wear it up and down the runway because it is what it is okay and that's the real tea if i want to say your name i'm gonna say your name if i'm speaking generally i'm gonna speak generally if i'm gonna be messy i'm gonna let it be known i woke up chosen but choosing violence if i'm trying to be cool calm and collective i'm gonna let it known that i'm being cool calm and collected send me your thoughts and comments down below in the comment section let me know who's rocking with team new york baby let me know if you're rocking with team new york like comment share subscribe to your girl shit because we're on the road to 4 Okay. I'm gonna see y'all in another video, in another recap video, in another reaction video, in another haul, in another mukbang, in another get ready with me. And that's on Team New York all day, baby. Bye.